Good evening. I would like to read a joint communique which is being simultaneously issued in Peking at this very moment by the leaders of the People's Republic of China. A joint communique on the establishment of diplomatic relations between the United States of America and the People's Republic of China, January 1st, 1979. The United States of America and the People's Republic of China have agreed to recognize each other and to establish diplomatic relations as of January the 1st, 1979. The United States recognizes the government of the People's Republic of China as a sole legal government of China. Within this context, the people of the United States will maintain cultural, commercial, and other unofficial relations with the people of Taiwan. The United States of America and the People's Republic of China reaffirm the principles agreed on by the two sides in the Shanghai Communique of 1972 and emphasize once again that both sides wish to reduce the danger of international military conflict. Neither should seek hegemony, that is, the dominance of one nation over others, in the Asia-Pacific region or in any other region of the world, and each is opposed to efforts by any other country or group of countries to establish such hegemony. Neither is prepared to negotiate on behalf of any other third party or to enter into agreements or understandings with the other directed at other states. The government of the United States of America acknowledges the Chinese position that there is but one China and Taiwan is part of China. Both believe that normalization of Sino-American relations is not only in the interest of the Chinese and American peoples, but also contributes to the cause of peace in Asia and in the world. The United States of America and the People's Republic of China will exchange ambassadors and establish embassies on March the 1st, 1979, unquote. Yesterday, our country and the People's Republic of China reached this final historic agreement. On January the 1st, 1979, a little more than two weeks from now, our two governments will implement full normalization of diplomatic relations. As a nation of gifted people who comprise about one-fourth of the total population of the earth, China plays already an important role in world affairs, a role that can only grow more important in the years ahead. We do not undertake this important step for transient tactical or expedient reasons in recognizing the People's Republic of China, that it is a single government of China. We are recognizing simple reality. But far more is involved in this decision than just the recognition of a fact. Before the estrangement of recent decades, the American and the Chinese people had a long history of friendship. We've already begun to rebuild some of those previous ties. Now, our rapidly expanding relationship requires a kind of structure that only full diplomatic relations will make possible.